Good morning, Eleanor. Look how fluffy you are. Look how fluffy you are, huh? Good morning. You are relaxed. Are you relaxed? My good girl. My pretty girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big yawn. Good morning, honey. Good morning. I had thrown this comforter that was just too hot for me in the corner here. And uh, Buddy seems to have commandeered it. From the looks of it, he's been sleeping on it quite often. I'm so happy. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, I'm going downstairs for some breakfast. Do you want some treats? You want to come with me? Huh? Huh? All right, I'll see you downstairs. Hi, Eleanor. 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 Hello. Oh, hi, buddy. Apparently, I was giving Eleanor too much attention, and Buddy decided he didn't like that. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> All right, a little switcheroo. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. Little cat silhouette. How cute is that? Um. So, hey, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen, and Buddy and Eleanor right there. We are just hanging out, relaxing at home. It is 2.42 in the afternoon. I just had some lunch. And uh, I am loving this chair. I bought this at Goodwill. Love this, like green velvet with this piping and the wood. Um, but I have it over here in the corner in the window where the cats like to hang out. Uh, the only problem is this is where my Christmas tree is going to go. So I'm going to miss this comfy little spot but uh yeah relaxing day um and uh i think my check-in for work is like almost 11 o'clock tonight so uh it is 2 43 i'm probably gonna take a nap around five o'clock just so i can get to cleveland without being too sleepy so i will see you probably at the airport hey buddy do you want to take a little nap with me you look like you're ready for a nap this is Buddy's favorite bed, if you didn't know. It's a, an insulated cooler from Walmart. For some reason, he loves it. Oh, did I bother you? Let's go upstairs. Eleanor? Hey. Hi. How are you? Do you want to go take a nap? Your little buddy there? Hmm? I know, buddy. Let's go take a nap. Hmm? Yeah? Okay. <sighs> Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> Get it. One of our favorite toys in the house is a little piece of stick. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a little stick. Uh, I play with under the covers. And the cats love it. This is not helping me get a nap before work. But you're so cute. Oh, there's Buddy. He senses movement under the blankets. Ha -ha! You're a ferocious cat, you. None of this is helping me get rest. But look how cute you are. Look how cute you are. <gasps> What's that? All right, so I'm sure the cats don't like the flash being on here. But I wanted to show you. I'm lying down in a chair. And I have my legs up on the ottoman. And Eleanor jumped up on her own. Curled up next to my legs. And Buddy then jumped up into my lap. On his own without me like coaxing him. This is like a miracle. This has never happened before. So I had to kind of document it. Alright, I'm going to turn the 
light off because I can see Eleanor is waking up. She doesn't like it. All right, bye. Hey guys, hi, happy day, happy day. There was plenty of parking getting into the employee parking lot. I'm up near the airport, so very happy about that. Uh, it is freezing here in Las Vegas, but I do have a coat tucked into my suitcase um, because it's supposed to be chilly in Cleveland. Uh, the flight to Cleveland is, I don't know why it's so long, but it's like almost four hours. Um, and then I have a 12 or 13 hour layover, then one leg back home. Super easy. I know one person I'm flying with. Uh, the two of them are very, very senior to me. So I no doubt will be flying position B today. So let me put my hands back in my pockets. It's cold. I'll see you later. Well, this trip is starting off on the right direction. I wasn't randomed. Yay. So there's that. Let's go to Cleveland. Oh, guys, it is free. Yeah, it is freezing here in Cleveland. It's very cold. Um, so I didn't have an opportunity to say hi to you before we started boarding. So uh, I'm flying position A on this flight. So I'm flying lead. Um, it's my happy place. Um, 142 passengers, three hours and 31 minutes. Uh, so it was a, definitely a shorter flight than I was expecting it to be. I was I was expecting more of uh, four hours. Um, no drama, no trauma, no real problems. We did have a couple passengers who seemed to have maybe had a little pre-party before they got on the plane, a drink or two, but no one seemed like intoxicated or or too sloppy. Uh, so uh, we did when we did service. We did kind of tiptoe past them. They were sleeping, so uh, didn't want to you know wake the. But um, yeah, really no drama, no trauma, no problems. Um, I am going to get to the hotel, probably get breakfast. We get 50% off breakfast. Um, and then I'll hop up to my room. I'll give you a room tour if it's worth showing you. Otherwise, I'll see you after I sleep. We have a 12 hour layover, so I will see you later. Hey there, all right, so we arrived at the hotel a few minutes ago came downstairs. It's a very strange location for a restaurant. It's downstairs in the basement. It's pretty though. It's like a little Tuscan restaurant almost. Uh, we get 50% off breakfast items. Uh, so I got an omelet and French toast, mostly because I think I'm going to nibble on the omelet and keep the rest of the omelet to eat when I wake up. Uh, so I don't have to buy a separate lunch or anything. So we get 50% off. It'll cost me like $6 for an amazing omelet. So there we go. That's the plan. And uh, I will see you in the room. All right. Double check that the security locks are engaged. Uh, there are two of them. I'm using both. The room is not fabulous. There it is. Could be worse. What was fabulous was breakfast. We get 50% off breakfast items here at the hotel. Uh, so I decided to order two breakfasts, not because I was that hungry, but because I did not pack food for this trip. I have some like ramen noodles or something in my bag, but I figured since breakfast was half price, I would order. Uh, I had the French toast. It was a um, croissant French toast with uh, whipped cream, slivered almonds, and maple syrup. It was delicious, absurdly delicious. I also ordered this. This is going to be my lunch slash dinner. It's a four egg omelet with American cheese, bacon, and ham and big pieces of toast. Keep that up later on in the crew room. Both breakfasts, all of that food was $12.50. Ta-da! And the server was amazing. She was so, 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 so nice and so thoughtful. She actually rang up our breakfast as to-go items, I guess because it's not taxed for that. I don't know why, but um, there was no tax. So I tipped her like six bucks because uh, she worked hard and she deserved it anyway. But I figured, you know, uh, tip like it's not discounted, right? So, um, oh, oh, the view, not great. Breakfast was better than the view. So um, I'm going to have probably time to sleep for maybe six, six and a half hours, I'm hoping. Uh, and then I'll um, 
wake up in time to heat up my omelet and eat that for dinner. The shuttle's at 7, um, and we just have one leg home. I'll be home uh, tonight by 8, 8 o'clock, something like that, p.m. There you go. So I will see you later on. Oh, thank goodness Starbucks is open. All right, so hi. Um, it is 7.22 or something like that. Uh, here at the airport in Cleveland. I didn't do much today, so I'm sorry I didn't film anything. Um, I went to bed right after breakfast. Um, woke up at about 4.30 in the afternoon. I wanted to sleep till about 6, but I woke up and that's fine. Um, had my omelet, went up to the crew room to heat it up, and I watched um, some of the sentencing for the Daryl Brooks trial. The guy who drove through a uh, Christmas parade in Waukesha, I think it's Wisconsin, uh, horrific, horrific. And I've been fascinated by the trial. So sentencing was satisfying, to say the least. Um, Starbucks is open. My crew and I have all separated. One got randomed, one was getting food. So uh, we're gonna meet at the gate and there you go. I will see you at the airplane. Hey guys, hi, welcome back to Las Vegas. Welcome back to my car, Shimi. Sorry about the lighting here. Uh, I'm gonna stop in here at my regular joint, you know, Taco Bell, uh, for a quick little bite before going home because the minute I get in the front door, buddy is like, meow, 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 meow. Um, so I'm gonna grab a little bite to eat and something to drink. Uh, today was very nice. Uh, today was very, very nice. Breakfast was probably the high point <laughs> of the day. Um, my crew was the next brightest point. Um, they were better than breakfast, I'll, I'll admit that. Uh, Molly is one of my absolute favorite people. Jesus, I've never really worked with him before, but he was just charming. Really nice guy. And our chaser today was remarkably wonderful. She was fantastic. She's a... Uh, from Germany originally. She's about my age. She's been in the States about 30 years now and she's just a riot. We just had a nice time. Our flight uh, to Vegas from Cleveland was uh, four hours and 10 minutes, which felt very long because we only had 61 passengers on board. That plane holds 182. Uh, so having 61 people on board and most of them sleeping didn't give us a lot to do. So. I read a bit, played some solitaire, talked with my coworkers, had a nice time. Um, let's see, let's uh, order some food. Hold on one sec. All right, so I got one crunchy taco, one bean burrito, no onions, and a small soda. That will get me through the night. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what I was telling you. Uh, really fantastic people on board. Uh, we had a couple little kids on board uh, one who's just old enough when his mom was asleep to go into her purse, grab her cigarettes and her matches. A passenger saw this happen and alerted us. So we were able to grab those things from him, wake mom up. Uh, and we took the kid for a little walk. Molly is amazing. Molly is amazing with this. So she took him for a little walk. I gave him a snack box and then, you know, sat in back for a while. Um, allowing mom a few minutes rest without the baby, you know. And then we had a one-year-old child who up in front that made me want to cry because he was so beautiful. And dad was so proud. The, the dad was very, very young. Uh, and he was so proud of this fluorescently beautiful baby. It was just really, it was really nice. It was a nice flight. Um, let's see. I'm off the next, I'm off for the next four days. So I'm going to try and put together a video with a gratitude list. Uh, for this month because it is gratitude month and I think I should just stop talking and let you go I'm gonna eat my dinner head to sleep cat cuddles treats and there you go I'll see you later all right thanks for joining me fly safe bye